Waspy is the Women Against State Pension Inequality campaign. Friday the 16th of September 2016 was a national day of local action and I went along to Scottish Borders Council headquarters to catch up with the Scottish Borders contingent. They were addressed by Vice Convener Councillor Jim Brown. I spoke with a few of those who had been moved to come along. That included local MP Callum Kerr. And finally, I spoke with Claire Ramage, who had joined me in TD1 Radio Studio earlier in the week to preview the event. Fuller interviews from the day will be in Monday's Lunchtime Review on 19th of September, after the midday news. Good luck to the adventure, ladies. Uh, I have to say I've got a bit of personal interest here because my good lady happens to be in the same position as the rest of you. So it's, it's, it's not very nice to have worked from uh, the age of 15-year-old to 60 and then discover the promise that was made to you at government level is not in fact going to happen. So I have to say that my wife Jenny is very much up in arms and she's very much behind you, as we all are at SBC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am Gail Chandler, I live in Jedburgh. I've come along this morning primarily to let the news about the WASPI campaign be spread throughout the Scottish borders. Apparently there are 4,500 women currently affected by the abrupt change to their state pension age. The abrupt change affected mostly women born in the 1950s. The bill which passed the act to change the pension age was passed in 1995 but unfortunately was not broadcast far and wide so that many women still are reaching their 60th birthday and expecting to get their state pension and then finding out very abruptly that that pension is not going to become available to them until they're at least 65 on almost 66 in most cases now. This is uh, an inequality and injustice that the government is refusing to address. Uh, It's been brought up and debated numerous times in Parliament Um, but they think they can just ignore it, despite the huge, huge injustice that has been done to these women. Nobody disagrees with equality of retirement age. What they are appalled at is the way in which it's been done, the complete lack of notice given to these women, and no transitional arrangements. We've offered to sit around a table to come up with a scheme that will work, and I urge them to let us have that discussion and come up with something that works. I'm Fiona McCall, and I've come along because I'm really annoyed and frustrated at the situation with the pen. Um, I'm disabled and I was planning to retire this year and because of the change I can't retire for another five years so I've still got to work. When I thought with my health situation I'd be able to retire and I can't and have to keep on working so I just think it's ridiculous. I'm really proud that so many ladies have turned out today. There's about 4,800 ladies affected across the borders. But what we're trying to aim for today is advertise it and get it out to as many areas as possible across the borders just to let them know that there is hope, that there is this group called WASPI that are standing for the unfair changes that have been made to their state pensions and that if they contact us, I think there's there's a lot to, to be said for power in numbers and hopefully we can actually overturn what the government have done since 1995 and 2011. There's nothing more dangerous than a nana with a banner. (laughs) 